okay let's display current login user detail so go to chat sidebar component html here let's display current login user detail so go to auth service ts and here at the end let's add method get method which return current login user detail so current logged in user and let's give type of user or null inside this method let's add here constant user of type user let's parse json json dot parse json dot parse let's pass here local storage dot get item and we have user here let's return here user save it go to chat sidebar component and here let's display current logged in user detail auth service dot current login user this can be null let's make it full name let's make it title case let's go to component and import title case pipe title case pipe from angular slash common let's make it a small c display image here src and auth service dot current login user dot profile picture save it let's run application cd client npm start let's open back in project let's clear terminal by pressing ctrl l and navigate to api project dot net was run let's open browser ctrl click so let's log in our application let's click login okay now we don't have picture here let's see let's open developer chrome developer tool right click and inspect and we have here user and profile image is null for this user so here let's check if profile image is null then let's render if we don't have user profile picture then let's add here url let's go to random user.me and let's add for now this image copy image address close it and here let's paste here you can see our default image this one now we have profile image and profile name let's log out and log in from another user user12 at gmail.com test rate123 user not found let's add register page link here let's go to login component login component html and at the end let's add here paragraph tag let's give class font bold text xs text center inside this paragraph tag let's add here don't have an account let's give anchor tag class text blue 500 router link slash register register here let's go to component and import here let's import router link save it go to component and save this one let's go to browser and take a look we have text here but let's keep padding bottom pb10 okay let's click this link we have register link so let's add here text for this one 
go to register component html and here at the end again let's go to login component html and copy this text and paste here already have an account let's keep login link here and go to component ts and import here the actual link save it go to browser now we can see link here let's rename this register to login let's add a login go to browser we can see now we have login link let's click login we can navigate to register okay okay we still don't see for hide image let's open developer tool let's see in user we have profile profile image but we have render here profile picture so let's go to user.ts and let's go to user ts interface and let's add another property let's duplicate this one and profile image save it go to chat sidebar component html and let's render here profile image let's save it now we can see our actual profile image here okay let's fetch this user from database first of all let's install signal r let's open terminal by pressing ctrl j let's kill our terminal ctrl c and let's install signal r at microsoft ok signal r is installed now let's create chat service let's generate service NGGS services inside services let's add chat service let's give test press enter ok chat service is ready let's go to src inside src app and then services let's say let's open chat service and here let's implement connection logic here for now let's remove this constructor let's define online users let's define of type signal let's say user array and let's initialize for empty array for now control dot and import from model slash users let's define here let's inject auth service first private auth service inject auth service and let's define hub url for now private hub url let's say http localhost 5000 and hubs chat ok let's implement start connection logic let's define function start connection it take token string and sender id which is optional which is of type string let's define private field of connection private of connection of type of connection let's make it optional let's import of connection at microsoft slash signal r inside this start connection 
now let's start hub connection equal to new hub connection build dot with url let's add here dollar this dot hub url hub url question mark sender id let's say sender id otherwise let's define null here let's pass access token factory equals to token and let's add here with automatic reconnect dot build and let's start connection here this dot hub connection dot start dot then let's pass empty error function and just log console dot log connection started and catch error console dot log connection or login error error and log exact error here now let's face online user from signal r let's say this dot hub connection dot on on line users okay let's pass here error function let's add here user user of type user ad just log for console log users user user here and this dot online user dot let's update our signal user dot filter let's filter first user user dot username does not equal to this dot auth service dot current login user dot username let's remove this bracket so this online user which is comes from here chat hub let's search for here we can see online users so we have implemented here online user get all users so this is the logic of our backend let's go to chat sidebar component html and render users let's remove this array and let's say first of all let's inject chat service here chat service inject chat service save it go to component html and chat service dot online users and here let's um, let's add here dynamic src and let's render use item dot let's say user user and user user dot profile picture let's add here name user dot full name make it title case and here let's add user dot on read count 
user dot undit count plus new message let's check if user dot is online if user is online then let's render div of class ml auto font medium text xs and let's add here another div div let's add class pg green 700 W2S2 rounded full otherwise else let's add here B, let's copy this one and paste here BG green 100 let's save it let's run our application npm start our backend is running so let's go to chat sidebar component ts and let's initialize start connection here let's implement on init implement on init let's press control dot and implement interface on init let's got it and let's paste here here let's call this dot chat service dot start connection and let's pass here this dot or service dot get access token let's save it and go to browser now we can see our user we don't see her full name let's so let's open developer tool more tool and developer tool let's refresh once again we can see connection is started and here we have full name we have here typo mistake so let's make it full name so let's open our backend project api inside dto let's open online user dto let's make it f let's make it u small save it and let's restart our backend project let's press ctrl c and dot net was run and let's we have error here let's click this file and let's make it small u save it we have error in another file let's open this one and let's make it small u save it we have his users 